Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing the episode Tintin and Tibet with my mother. Hi. So the episode basically begins with Tintin and Captain Hot Dog playing chess. And I must admit, Captain Hot Dog is very fucking great at chess. He truly knows what to think about when doing chess. Really, yeah. And they, they are, I think they are in Switzerland in some mountain hotel. It's a beautiful area. They, they are on a vacation. Mm hmm. But then, after the chess is finished, Hint him screams like a fucking idiot. Mm -hmm. He, he kind of falls asleep or gets in trance and have a daydream. Yeah, but when he goes to sleep for real. He has a dream of Chang being alive. And he's, he's Chinese friend. Yeah. Okay. To be entirely honest, I do think that Tintin is fucking crazy for thinking that his friend is still alive. But uh, you know, he has his daydream and then he has his dream that his friend, Chinese friend, what is his name? Chang is dead in a airplane accident but they had been reading in the news that there was an airplane accident in Nepal a Katzman too and then Captain what is his name Hatok mm -hmm. reads in the paper that there was a young Chinese boy who got killed in this accident and then Tintin finds out oh my god he was on the plane I know he is alive yeah well Captain Hatok do us think that Hinton is fucking insane for thinking that guy is alive? And you know what? I understand exactly why Captain Haddock thinks that Tintin is fucking insane for that. In fact, I kinda agreed with him. It really is fucking insane to think that someone could survive a plane crash. I mean, what are the fucking chances yeah. of someone surviving you a never plane know. crash? You never know. There are chances. But it's amazing uh, how, how much of a friend Tintin is to Chang. He, he wants to uh, sacrifice his own life to help him. And I think it's more just a friendship. I think he must love him. Okay, so they, they um, decide to go to... Um, well, about that. Yeah, I do think that he loves him as a friend. Mm -hmm. But not exactly in a homosexual way. I don't know. That might be a beautiful love story. Nah, it's not in a homosexual way. It's just love because of friendship. Because he's, yeah, maybe. Maybe not. But anyway, Tintin and Captain Hot Dog go to China, but we if we're getting some help from Chi a Tintin yeah, yeah, guy. Right? Yeah, they go to China to his family. Then they go to Kathmandu. What, 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 what? First they go to China. To talk to his father. Yeah, but before we get into that, there is one scene that I found very fucking funny that I have to talk about. Mm -hmm. And that's the scene where uh, uh, Captain Hot Dog screams at a random Chinese guy and he screams back and it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. I had no idea what the fuck this Chinese man was saying. And to be honest, I do think without the subtitles, it made that scene even funnier. So Sadok had no idea what yeah. the fuck he was saying. I think this is that where the devil met his mother. Because this Chinese guy, he, he did he did swear a lot in Chinese. Maybe more than Captain Hadok. But anyway, they get help from a tour guide called Shanky. Mm -hmm. And some other guys too in the beginning. Yeah. They wanted to help them to go into the mountain, and it's called uh, Sharps, the guy who carry your bags when you're mountain hiking. They were in Kathmandu. Well, here is something very amazing thing that I must mention to Captain Haddock, and I do think that it makes him a true friend. Even though Captain Haddock strongly feels that Tintin is fucking insane and out of his mind for thinking that Chang is still alive, he is still willing to help him on the journey. Yeah, that's that's true. He is a good friend. 
even though he swears a lot and he tried to convince Tintin not to go there, but Tintin is very stubborn, I must say. Yeah. Nothing, there is nothing that can stop him. So they go to Katma, fly to Kathmandu, and they're in a city, Nepal, which actually it's a place I really would like to visit. So, anyway, they walk on their journey to that mountain. What's the name of the mountain? <clears throat> I don't know, it is in Kathmandu. Yeah, of uh, course. No, the, I mean Everest is in the neighborhood. They, they are in Tibet. Yeah, of course. That's the name of the country, Tintin in Tibet. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, Kathmandu is there. I'm not sure how it works, but I know they flew to Kathmandu. But yeah, anyway, while they're walking to that mountain, Captain Haddock goes to the wrong bridge and that oh scene made god. me laugh. Oh my god. Yeah, he is a funny guy. He is. But he is strong. Even though he drinks a lot and he, he doesn't want to do physical activity and so forth, then he does. He is strong. And he works with Tintin and he, he is a great guy. Yeah. And Snowy. I love Snowy. The, the next scene is when Snowy drinks alcohol that he finds on the floor. And that is in Not in the, the floor, in the in the pathway, in the mountain. Yeah, in the mountain. And when I saw that scene, I was very fucking scared that Snowy was gonna get seriously injured. And yeah. that almost happened. But fortunately, he fell into water, so he didn't get hurt much. But regardless, Tintin was there to fucking rescue him. Yeah, but you know what kind of alcohol he was drinking and who owned it? Yeah, it belongs to Hattok. And to, what kind of alcohol is it? Hattok always drink it, whiskey. Yeah, of course. So, so snow you was drunk. Yeah. And I do not recommend to be drunk while you're hiking in the mountains. Please do notify. Uh, and people also talk about a huge ass monster called the Yachty. Mm -hmm. But of course, Captain Hattok proves yet again how much of an atheist he is by not believing in that stuff. Uh -huh. He doesn't believe in anything like that. He's a very logical thinking person. Like you, you're a very logical thinking person. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. He just didn't... And, and, and you know the, the Sherps, the guys who, who want, were going to help them to carry their luggage, carry their bags, they believe in Jedi and they were very afraid. So they did run away. Only one of them did did help them till the end. You know his name. Chuck. Tan Chanky. Yeah. So anyway, Captain Hattok refused to believe it was the Jesse, which is understandable. I mean, it is hard to believe that. A creature like that could exist. Uh -huh. But anyway, they finally find where the plane and, crashed. And they, they saw his steps in the snow. Yeah. And they, 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 there is a rumor or a myth that in the mountains there are, is the snowman. Yeah. Captain Hattok thinks that it was just a bear. Uh -huh. Are you going to tell it in details what happens in the. Hattok and Chunky. Rest where the plane crashed. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, Tintin walks out in the snow and finds a cave. And in the cave, he saw that someone had written his name in the stone. And that was the name of Chang. So he said, He is alive. So he knew it. He's alive. We have to rescue him. Yeah, but that's not enough proof that he really is alive, though. Yeah. I mean, he could have written that and then died. Yeah. At least he saw that he did survive the crash, the airplane crash. But you true. That doesn't mean that he was alive and they were there. But he, he said, I will find him. I will carry on uh, searching for him. Yeah, and then shortly after that, Chunky and Hard Dog rescued Tintin, but Tintin yeah, was... Tintin it fell down a, a hole in the snow. But when they tried to rescue Tintin from the hole, 
it turns out that he was already fucking out of there. Yeah. And it, that's fucking awesome. It reminds me of the film. Oh, I will t talk about that later. Because there were two. When. Yeah, that was later. When Tintin and Hattok were mountain hiking. And Mount Hattok was almost falling down. And Tintin couldn't help him. So Hattok was going to uh, take the rope and cut it. But anyway, shortly after they go to a fucking monastery. Mm -hmm. They see the monastery. Yeah, and yeah. they rest there. And there was a kind of a fakir, the guy who see things. And he saw that there was, before, he saw the Tintin, he saw a young man with a dog and two others in the mountain. So the guys in the monastery he did believe that there were some guys in the mountain and they rescued Tintin and fellows. Yeah, and Captain Haddock tried to uh, take a photo of <laughs> that man levitating, but unfortunately he couldn't fucking do it. Yeah, and then this fakir, he saw also that there was a young man alive in the mountain and Tintin said yes. Chang is alive. I have to go rescue him. Well, yeah, but unfortunately, Hot Dog is not pleased about the fact that Tintin still thinks that his friend is alive. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have to say the, the scene when Tintin and Hot Dog were mountain climb, climbing and uh, Hot Dog had to cut the rope. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah. about that scene. That reminds me of a very famous film I recommend you will see. It's called Touching the Void. Just, that's just a... Yeah, I forgot to mention that scene earlier. It was very fucking crazy of Hot Dog to cut the rope. No, he said, otherwise we both will die. I just, I cut the rope so I am the only one who will die. Yeah, but I know. But they did survive. I know he did eat that for good reasons, but it doesn't see the fact that it was still crazy of him to do it. Yeah. But anyway, Tintin and Hot Dog are very close to finding Chang. Yeah. And as it turns out... Sorry, I have to tell you, Kathmandu is in Nepal. Nepal is the country, Kathmandu is the city. So they went to Kathmandu and did walk into the mountain. Sorry. But anyway... Yeah. They wait for hours, and after waiting for a few hours, Tintin is out so that he knew all along that Chang really is a fucking life. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's incredible that he was fucking right about his friend being alive. Remember, he saw the scarf in the mountain, his yellow scarf in the beginning, remember? And he said, ah, I think Ch Chang has this scarf. Well, we are about to reach the end of the episode, yeah. but there is something that you forgot to mention that you were going to mention. You were going to mention something about hot dogs clothing. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, might be in the end if we carry on the... Yeah, I, I was just wondering when I saw this film, I really liked it, and this is one of my favorite books, Tintin in Tibet. It is written in 1960, 54 years ago, and still... Everything is so... That, then there hadn't been so many people mountain hiking back then. Mm -hmm. And they're wearing such a great outfit. But still Hattok, he's wearing trousers that are quarter. Quarter trousers. And he's always cold. And I think, why is he not in long trousers? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty... But, it, but it's amazing how, how great those animation is. Yeah. Cartoon, cartoon. Yeah. Anyway, the episode ends with the people from the monastery congratulating Tintin for being right all along. I, I give him a, a prize. I give him a white scarf made of 100% silk and tell him this is because you showed that you were a re really good friend. Well, so that's basically where the episode ends. Now it's time for our, my overall thoughts. I really think this is a fucking awesome episode. Throughout it, I thought that Tintin was fucking insane. But you know what? 
in this case it's a good thing because it shows that he really cares about his friend and is willing to prove everyone wrong who thinks that he's dead. And for that I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. I love it a lot. Me too. Two thumbs up. I just love it. My favorite. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.